or Mahomes' ability? This is really hard to make a choice because I've always been a talent-driven guy because I just believe talent when well coached with hard work, like that's a winning formula. But Tom Brady, the experience is winning. So what I'm trying to put together, he already has. And I know that there's a certain effect on a team when you get talented players. The Minnesota Vikings, they changed a couple times. When we got Warren Moon um, from Houston, we assigned him as our quarterback. The team changed our potential. It changed because of his talent and his experience. When we got Randy Moss, drafting him in 1998, the team changed again because of his talent. He didn't have any experience, but his talent, 17 touchdowns as a rookie receiving, was profound in how it went through the roster. Randy Moss, as a wide receiver, gave the nickelback more confidence, gave him more swag because he was on the team. So for me, it's hard to decide between the two but in this matchup, I would have to say the experience. And the experience because, man, these games are difficult. You are a nervous wreck. You have tremendous amount of negative energy that you're thinking about in these games, more so than any other game. Even including a guy like Tom Brady? Well, I he, think he's saying Brady's used to it. And so the nervous and energy could affect, affect the guy Mahomes without the experience. More, yeah. Brady knows how he's going to feel. I saw Tom Brady in Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis. When he came out of the locker room on purpose, he had someone hold his helmet. And he went through gyrations and demonstrations of emotion to the crowd that I was like, I wouldn't have been able to do that because I wouldn't have been able to control that. Brady knows how he's supposed to feel. He knows how to feel home, neutral site, and on the road. The experience that he has is invaluable to the rest of the roster because he can make other guys feel comfortable. That Randy Moss effect of he's so good that he gives the nickelback swag, that's the kind of confidence when you have a quarterback. When you get in the huddle and you can't hear, and Tom Brady says, hey, guys, just relax. All right, we're getting ready to run. Let's go, let's go power right, 32 blast. We get ready to knock them off the ball. And that type of confidence goes through a team. So for me, man, I love, I love being talented. Man, there's nothing wrong with being talented. But to have the experience that Tom Brady has, it supersedes any type of talent in how it goes through the roster. I, if this game were in Gillette, and Patrick Mahomes, the guy without the experience, was going to have to play the biggest game of his life in a hostile environment where he can't hear, where you know that the other team has that tangible edge, I'd go with not only the experienced quarterback, but one of the most talented to ever play. It's not like the guy with experience don't have no talent. And so Brady, has, he has a lot of talent and better experience than anybody else. But this game is not only an arrowhead, but it's not just that Pat Mahomes is young and talented. This is prodigious talent. This is the greatest first season as a starter we have ever seen and he is two wins away he being Patrick Mahomes from completing what would be the greatest individual quarterback season anyone's ever had the five greatest seasons are Marino in 84 lost in the Super Bowl Brady in 07 lost in the Super Bowl Aaron Rodgers in 2011 lost in the divisional round Manning in 2013 lost in the Super Bowl that is what is at the feet of Patrick Mahomes right now in his first year as a starter and while he doesn't have the experience you know who does Andy Reid Andy Reid his coach the guy who while the defense is on the field comes and sits next to him on the on the bench listen Bob Sutton you worry about that defense I'm gonna talk to my quarterback he will be in his ear and I think that the energy is infectious amongst his teammates to CC's point and this is there's one instance where a lack of experience can be an advantage in one small way you don't know what you don't know and you don't if you don't know I think there is a naivete to a degree of how big the moment is 
how rare it is to get to this point in the season that could allow at home a team as talented and a quarterback as talented as Patrick Mahomes to play freer than you typically would in a game to get to the Super Bowl. But you only have to go back to last week to see that he wasn't affected by that big stage, or at least it didn't appear to be. He had a handful of games at least throughout the season where you saw in the beginning he was mm -hmm. maybe a little hesitant or off or and a little those games nervous. Were on the road. Okay, and, and so now he's at home, similar big stage, and last week he was able to do it. Yeah, but against playoff teams, he has not played his best football. To the numbers that you talk about, Patty Holmes, it might be a perfect storm. What about when the league opened up to change the rules? That might have led to of having one of the, 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 the most historic seasons that we've ever seen. The reason why experience becomes important because, yeah, you don't know what you don't know, but what do you do with that emotion? I saw last week's game, and even though you couldn't see it, Patty Mahomes would tell you in the press conference that was a game like he never played. He reacted in a positive way. It's who can duplicate it. That's why Tom Brady's experience is important. You know the reason why? Because it's all great. Nick, you mentioned there's been no quarterback that plays on third down in the fourth quarter and in overtime of Super Bowl and playoff games like Tom Brady. So it's not only the experience, it's his expertise also having the experience. I didn't mention that he was great. I didn't mention he's a pinpoint passer. I didn't mention that he has a rare, rare running game. So that experience, it comes with other stuff. I mean, if he did want someone to whisper to him, Bill Belichick, he can whisper to me if he wants to. He can sit next to me. There's no coach that ever has more experience. I just think this is one of the unique matchups that we'll ever see in pro football or in sports. And like Nick, I do believe this. There's always a change in other guard. Can we predict it or can we see it? A lot of times we can't see it coming. This one might be right in front of our face, and we might be able to, I had a chance to predict it. I saw it right there. Tom Brady in um, Arrowhead against Patty Mahomes. Yes, wouldn't be surprised at all if the Chiefs, ca Chiefs came out with a victory because you know the reason why? They got the most talented player. And and, and that does mean something. And see, and we're talking about talent versus experience at the quarterback position. That's kind of the story of the, the two teams against each other. The Chiefs are, if I did the same thing I did against the Chargers, Pats, Chargers, Pats, Chiefs, who are the most talented players in the game? Chiefs are going to have seven of the top nine once again, but almost none of them have the experience that almost everyone on the Patriots has. I got a kick out of the concept or the thought of Bill Belichick sitting down on the next bench. Next to Tom Brady. Next to Tom Brady, and he goes... This is a football game. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. I'm going to kill it. Audience got a kick of that joke. That wasn't even a joke. That's probably exactly what would happen. Just laugh. Could you at least, we do have an audience. Can you fake that it was funny? <laughs> See, they, we actually have a studio audience. Now Jenna has proof her jokes don't go, don't hit. Thank you, kids. Take a from break. LSU visiting right us. After this. Come here, Mr. Tickles. <laughs> when Jenna tells a joke, that's I how you got it. that name. Thank Why you is Chris laughing? Not the jokes. Mr. Tickles got me. Come here, come here, come here, come here.